This video will walk users through system setup of the 845 automatic rate controller. This setup is typically only done once after the installation process, but certain settings could change over the life of the controller and one or more of these steps may need revisited. You can follow along in the manual provided with the console. This demonstration will assume US units and defaults for those units throughout the entire setup process. First, press and momentarily hold the Pro key to power on the console. In order to enter system setup, the master switch must be off. Press and hold the Pro key for three seconds to enter system setup. The first step in system setup is the unit selection. Choose between US, turf, which is gallons per 1,000 square feet, NH3, imperial, liters per 100 meters squared, gallons per lane mile, liters per kilometer, or metric, liters per hectare, by pressing the plus or minus keys. If the units are changed, another menu will ask if you wish to load the default values for the unit selected. Select yes or no. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is the speed calibration. The default value is 250. Press the auto manual key to switch between wheel speed sensor and radar sensor. If using a GPS speed sensor or inputting speed from a matrix console, select radar. Initial calibration number for a GPS speed sensor is 1300. Initial calibration number for a Matrix GS console is 914. Initial calibration number for a Matrix 430 console is 1000. Hold the plus and minus keys simultaneously for three seconds to activate auto calibration. Follow the instructions in the manual to complete the calibration. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is the distance counter. The master switch must be on and speed signal must be present to count distance. This is not strictly a programming step, but rather a double check to ensure the console is counting distance correctly, so it is not a necessary step. The default value here is zero. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you enable or disable a pressure sensor. This page asks whether a pressure sensor is installed on the control system. Select yes or no by using the plus or minus keys. As a side note, it is generally helpful to have a manual pressure gauge in your plumbing, usually near the section valve manifold. This can help with troubleshooting and may also be used to verify the functionality of the pressure sensor. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you enter the zero pressure set point for the pressure sensor. Press the plus and minus keys simultaneously to automatically calibrate the sensor with no pressure on the system. The calibrated value should be 4.0 plus or minus 0.2. The default value is 4.0. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the high pressure maximum rating for the pressure sen sensor. Simply enter the value for the sensor on your system. Choices are 145 PSI or 363 PSI. The default is 145 PSI. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the minimum pressure rating. Below this value, system regulation is stopped. The default value is 10 PSI. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you enable or disable a flow meter. This step asks whether a flow meter is installed in the control system. Select yes or no using the plus or minus keys. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you enter the flow meter calibration number. This is normally found on the flow, flow meter sensor cable. Default is 82 pulses per liter, which is the calibration number for the 801 flow meter. The calibration number is entered as pulses per liter, regardless of what units were selected in the first step. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the minimum flow capacity for the installed flow meter. When both a pressure sensor and a flow meter are installed and enabled, if the flow rate drops below this value, the system automatically shifts to pressure-based regulation. When the flow rate climbs above this value again, the system automatically shifts back to flow-based regulation. The default is 2.5 gallons per minute, which again is based on the 801 flow meter minimum flow rate. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. 
The next step is where you select the regulation mode for the system, either pressure-based or flow-based. This page is only present if a pr pressure sensor has been enabled. Default is flow-based. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the spacing between tips on your machine. The default is 20 inches. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you enter the number of boom sections on your machine. The default is 5. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the number of tips for section 1. The default is 6 tips. Repeat this step for the number of sections that you specified in the previous step by pressing the plus or minus keys to select the number of tips and pressing the Pro key to move to the next section. After the last section, pressing the Pro key will move to the next step. The next step is where you set a specific gravity of spraying a liquid heavier than water, such as liquid fertilizer. See page 141 of T-Jet's Catalog 51A for specific gravities of various liquids. This is only necessary if using pressure-based regulation mode. Default is 1.00. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the type of regulating valve that is on your machine. Choices are bypass, throttling, and PWM. Bypass regulation is when the regulating valve is placed in a return line to the tank. Throttling regulation is when the regulating valve is placed in the main flow line. PWM regulation is when you are controlling the flow in the product line by controlling the speed of the pump via a hydraulic valve. The default is bypass. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set regulating valve speed. The number to the left of the decimal point is coarse adjustment, and the number to the right of the decimal point is fine adjustment. In bypass mode, the starting value is 9.5. In throttling mode, the starting number is 3.3. .3. For PWM, consult the specific PWM setup in the user manual. The default is 9.5. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you select the type of section control valve on your machine. There are two choices, two-way, standard, and three-way, metered bypass. Three-way valves are uncommon, but the reason for entering this is to account for the amount of liquid that has been counted by the flow meter that is returning to the tank. Flowback valves are still considered two-way valves. The default is two-way. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the amount of liquid your machine holds with the tank at full capacity. This allows the console to track the amount of liquid in the tank and, at a certain level, which is set in the next step, alarm the user that the tank is low. Default is 250. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you can set the minimum tank alarm amount. If you entered 50, as an example, then the controller would alert when the calculated remaining tank volume has reached this threshold. If you set this to zero, it disables the low tank alarm. The default is zero. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you can set communications to other devices. Generally, this is not used, but can be enabled to allow for variable rate applications, among other things. Default is no. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you can set a simulated low speed. This is useful for checking system operation with the machine sitting still. It is automatically deactivated once a speed signal is sensed in the console. The default is 6 miles per hour. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The next step is where you set the simulated high speed. Again, this is useful for checking system operation with the machine sitting still. It is automatically deactivated once a speed signal is sensed in the console. The default is 9 miles per hour. Press the Pro key to move to the next step. The last step is where you can set a speed minimum for system operation. The regulating valve will close if speed drops below this value. If you set to zero, this function will be disabled. The default is zero. Press and hold the Pro key for three seconds to exit system setup.
This concludes the system setup for the 845 automatic rate controller.